Let's talk about 10 jobs and opportunities you can get to fuel your life abroad with some work. Now, I'm not saying that you need to have the most lucrative, profitable business or job when you move abroad. That's just not it. I mean, for me, I think to myself, I moved abroad, that I have more choices in the type of work that I do. And I assume that that is what you're looking for as well. But the key to employment and opportunities abroad is to make sure that they are fulfilling and rewarding to who you are at your core and the goals that you have for your future. And if you have a family unit, the future of those in your family as well. Practically speaking, you do need a job or a paid opportunity or some savings to at least cover your expenses. And this is coming from an American where we do not have great work-life balance. We like to work ourselves into the grave and we sleep when we are dead. That is the mentality of most Americans. And so moving abroad to kind of get yourself out of that rut and out of that mindset is the key and at least that was a key for us and yes my husband works with an american company here abroad as well it's still not the same and if you're interested i'll ask my husband if he would like to do a video with me talking about what life is like working with the american government abroad versus in the united states i know that he's still busy here i do know that there are lifestyle perks that he does in fact prefer and that i preferred when i was also working with the u.s government many moons ago. All in all, I think that if you have the privilege to do so, living a life abroad should give you different types of freedoms that you're looking for, and they do take work to achieve. And that is what this video is here to help you with. Let me get off my soapbox, and if you had to skip just to this part, that's okay too, I get it. So the first one is the Department of State. That is the organization that we are with. My husband is currently working with the Department of State here in Ecuador. And yeah, it's been what we've done thus far because for us, we could not live this lifestyle without some sort of income. And again, that whole freedom that we we're talking about, we're looking at that financial freedom, location independence, as well as the physical freedom to, to you know, maneuver where we need to go and work in interesting and different places around the world. And so to get a little specific, the US Department of State's career path centers towards diplomacy. And you address international issues and promote the US interests in foreign countries. Yearly fellowships and internships come out for those looking to join the Foreign Service. So definitely check out this particular career path and we have a video on my channel all about my husband's path and experiences within the Foreign Service. So make sure you check it out. I'll link it in the card. So next, let's talk about the Peace Corps. So like the State Department, the Peace Corps is a US government agency that sends people all around the world, which I think is pretty cool. Volunteers work on various community projects worldwide. And if you're not interested in the Peace Corps in particular, other non-government organizations have similar programs that you can look up as well. Next is Road to Argentina. Road to Argentina offers internships in Buenos Aires. If you participate in this particular program, you can gain experience in business, journalism, and health care just to name a few categories and you do all of this while experiencing the Argentine culture which I think is really cool. The expedition project facilitates volunteer opportunities in community development and wildlife conservation in a variety of different countries. If you were to participate in this type of program you would be able to support local communities and ecosystems through the different projects that you would do. This one I think is so cool and I wanted to do this myself. The Worldwide Opportunity on Organic Farms. So with this program, individuals exchange their skills for room and board on different farms around the world. And I think that's really cool because not only do you get a chance to stay on different organic farms, you also help by promoting sustainable agriculture. Teach English and study German. So this is a really cool program that allows you to to be in Germany while teaching English and absorbing the German culture while you are living and learning and doing all the things. I think it's a really great opportunity for those of you with a teaching background or those looking to get into 
teaching. Next is Oyster Worldwide. They also offer volunteer opportunities that are educational and focus on sustainability and environmental conservation in a variety of different countries. And this particular program is very broad and it just includes you teaching in a foreign country. There are program requirements and they do vary by location. So you wanna make sure that you do your research and look them up. And I will say I'll have all of these listed down in the description box below with the link so that you don't have to do too much work. Volunteers for Peace. So this is a great organization that offers opportunities for volunteers to engage in peace work in over 100 countries. Editing Jasmine here, I absolutely missed two of the opportunities for my list. I don't know how it happened but let me share them with you now. GVI Sustainable and Responsible Travel Brand. GVI offers volunteer educational and internship opportunities focused on sustainable development and environmental conservation in various countries. So if I was still going down the career path that I wanted to a couple years ago, I would absolutely apply to this program. Child Family Health International. This organization provides educational programs for global health programs and community-based medicine. And this is great because you can learn about different healthcare practices in different environments while also contributing to different healthcare initiatives. Not all of these are paid opportunities, but they are in fact fulfilling. So choose wisely and pick based off of what is going to fuel you in another country. I know that was a pretty hefty list of jobs and opportunities, but I actually have more. So if you want a part two of this video where I list some more jobs, give you a little bit more insight as to what life abroad in terms of employment and and opportunities is like, let me know, leave a comment down below. And for those of you who cannot wait for a part two, if you want it, of course, definitely check out the link in my description box below for your free mini ebook PDF that you can download right now that's going to give you this list that I just went over as well as 20 other opportunities. Y'all, it is jam packed with good stuff. And the fact that it's free, they also have a full ebook all about jobs and opportunities and life abroad and my story and just so much more. And in this paid ebook, I have a chart with a jobs portal as well as the list that I mentioned in this video and so many other opportunities, including remote work and general job ideas to just get you started. Check out the links down below for both resources. You can choose which one you want or get them both. It is up to you. I do, in fact, hope this video was helpful. I really hope that you got something out of it. And yeah, good luck on your journey to living abroad, getting more freedom in your life, and yeah, getting a job or opportunity that really suits you and will fulfill you for your new life abroad. I'm excited for you.